There's nothing greater than the release that comes when you give God all of the praise. We can come before the king in his throne, all of his splendor. We can bless him with every part of our being. And not a greater sacrifice in holiness that you can give God is a sacrifice of your praise. An offering of pure worship. Pure worship. You bless him with every part of your being. You give him, you give him the praise. You shout his glory. You know how you have your breakthrough in life? You shout your way right through. You shout your way right through. You praise your way right through. You war in the Holy Ghost all the way through. You are an overcomer because you are a praiser and your praise is a powerful, 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 powerful weapon. High praise of God in my mouth, two-edged sword, the word of God in my hand. I've got an anointing and authority to bring down every stronghold, every principality, every power that tries to wage war against my life my home, my family, my soul, my body, my being. I've got the anointing of God to go to war. Hallelujah. I'm not begging. I'm not pleading. I'm declaring. I'm shouting. I'm uttering. I'm releasing the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Releasing the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God against every sickness. The kingdom of God against every disease. The kingdom of God against everything that tries to break you, the kingdom of God. Against every need, the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. You got to know, you got to be able to give the word of God at the kingdom of God. My, the blessing of God brings the kingdom of God. My praise releases the kingdom of God. We have no concept yet of the authority we possess sometimes as believers until we begin to release with praise the kingdom of God. We can bring hell down in this nation we would release the kingdom of God with our praise come on somebody give them a shout in the house glory glory hallelujah 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 Bless God, bless God, bless God, bless God, bless God, bless God. Hallelujah. John the Baptist was set aside by God, consecrated. He had the Spirit of God on him, preparing him and readying him for, for one of the shortest ministries, but yet one of the most powerful ministries on the planet. But it was time for his showing the man of God was ready. He'd been called, elected, appointed, and been revealed by the Spirit of God that the one on whom he saw the glory of God fall on, this one was the Christ. And John came looking for that one. And when he saw him, when he got a hold of it, he recognized who's got the greater glory. It was Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of the Most High God. And he was able to declare and shout, this is the one with all of his being. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold the one that takes away all the sins of the world. He has been before me because he was ever before me. I would not have known him if God hadn't told me he was coming. I would not have known my being if the Lord hadn't released it. I would not have known him without the anointing. But when I saw the glory of God come upon him, I knew he was the Christ. The high praises of God in your mouth. Two-edged sword in your hand. We shout the praises of him who called us out of darkness into the light of God, into the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. I'm getting all hung up in here in the Holy Ghost. Come into the kingdom of God, all fired up by the Spirit of God. You are placed. Come on, your victory, your victory, your victory, your victory, your victory. Don't be in a hurry to step out of praise. Bless the Lord. We haven't even prayed for the offering yet. But by the way, thank you all for blessing, for blessing me, for blessing my wife and I. We, you know, we appreciate it. It's our, it's our privilege to serve, to serve the body of Christ the best we can. You get that John the Baptist anointing on everybody, all fired up. Hallelujah. Make way a path for the Lord. He's coming to fix it, straighten it out, take down the high things, fill in the fill in the dead things, get everything out of the way that belongs out of the way, and get a platform for the glory of God to come through. Every devil, demon, and darkness, 
get out of the way. There's a revival and the revelation of God coming through. And we are shouting to make a place for him. That's how you bring a nation to God. That's how you bring a generation to the cross of Calvary. As you shout with that fire on the inside of you. The anointing on John is the anointing for the church. Not only was it national, it was personal. You call a nation by calling people. And he went after both of them. Come on, somebody. It's not one or the other. You bring a nation to God by bringing people to God. You want to break the powers of darkness? Break them off people. Then you begin to break them off a nation. You want to see a generation come to God? Break the power of darkness off the generation. Confront the nation with the word of God, with the fire of God, and with the call of God. Come on, church. We don't hide back behind four walls. We step up. Got me all fired up today. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. <laughs> Woo! Stretch your hands out toward your offering. There's the greatest days for the fire of God and the body of Christ are ahead of us. A real shaking in this nation, the nations of the world. People think hell is one. Hell is not one. Hell is not one. I'm trusting God this round belongs to him. There is more fire on the body of Christ to drive hell back and give God the season of great awakening and revival. Church, do not quit. Do not give up. Stand your ground. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in. Don't look at things in the natural. Let the Holy Ghost do it out of the supernatural. God knows how to bring every high thing down. You know how to expose every lie. But the church must be there when everything begins to break. If we're not found where we need to be, we will lose the day. But if we are found, so standing and so praising and so walking, when that day comes, we will run right through for the victory of God. We must be found standing. When hell is broken, we must be found standing. Or we've wasted the day. Hmm. All right. Father, we thank you for the giving of God's people. What good does it do if we gal? I'm sorry to say, but what good does it do us to come together if we don't have a God vision? If our vision isn't bigger than ourselves, what good is it the reason why we're coming? Zechariah said about his son, first he said, God, you've come to deliver the nation. You come to defeat all of our enemies. You come to liberate us and fulfill the purpose and the plan, the call that you have left for this nation. You've done it. Then he looks at his little baby and says, and God called you to be the prophet of God, to bring a people to a place of repentance. And the grace of God. Why? So this part here could be fulfilled when he did his part here. It's a national revival. We've got to look at it from the big picture. We fight till the day in the Holy Ghost. Father, we give you all the praise. 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 We thank you, Father, for your glory, for your righteousness, Father, for your anointing, for the holiness of God, Lord, that rains down on us, that rains down on us. Jesus, you said you'd build your ecclesia. You said you'd build your church. The gates of hell will not prevail. Well, Lord, here we stand as the body of Christ in this nation and even in nations of the world. And, Father, we declare to you your word says, your word says that so we stand expecting it to take place. And we take our place. We take our prophetic call of God. We take our place in this season. Take our place in this time. We don't cower back. We don't hide back. We step up. We step forward. We step out. Devil, we want you to know that we are here. 
Every lying spirit, we need you to know that we are here because we are not afraid, we are not intimidated, we are not ashamed. We are here to speak the name of the one that's a thousand billion times greater than you. You have nothing against the word of God, so we must speak the word of God. That is our victory. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 I keep trying to move forward, but the Holy Ghost has just stopped right here for a minute. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed God. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says, John, you know, John quoted the scripture, I'm nothing more than a voice shouting in the wilderness. I'm a voice shouting in the wilderness. How many voices are in the house? this morning how many shouting voices in the house this morning come on how many shouting voices in the house this morning how many God fearing God hungry word anointed Holy Ghost filled voices shouting do I have in the house this morning how much fire do I have in the house this morning how much glory is in the house this morning how much victory is in the house this morning one can put a thousand to fly two can put ten thousand to fly so there's nothing that our God cannot do through the shout of God that's in your spirit holiness of God covers you the glory of God falls over you the fire of God is infusing you the zeal of God is all over you all you can do is shout the victory of God and shout it and declare it and shout it and declare it and when we do it as the body of Christ as the body, and begin to just shout it and begin to speak it and begin to shout it and begin to speak it and advance and advance and advance and advance and advance hell can shout all it wants hell can complain all it wants hell can lie all it wants he can do whatever it wants but our God will keep driving it back and driving back don't be intimidated by the things you see in the natural and the things you hear in the natural the voice of God can break the cedars and drive the water back your God is bigger than every voice in this nation which is against him we just got to take the battle in the Holy Spirit we just got to take the battle in the Holy Spirit church we got to take the battle in the Holy Ghost in the spirit on the inside. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. You're the fire behind the power. Mm -mm -mm. So no weapon formed against any of you has the right to prosper. Come on. We have not come. We have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. We have not used our weaponry like we're supposed to. We've not fought the faith fight like we were supposed to. We've not been laying hold of the call and the election of God like we are supposed to. We have put it all to the side. And we kind of did our own little comfy thing. Well, now it's time to down the whole armor of God and take your stand against all that the wicked one does. And after having done all, be found standing. It's time for us to use the very things God has called. Come on, it's time for us to become the genuine blood bought body of Christ. It's time for us to reveal the King in all of His glory. It's time for us to genuinely become the church of the living God. It is time for us to shine. Hallelujah. The Lord has risen upon you. Gross doctors may cover the land and gross doctors may cover the people. It doesn't matter, but God has raised a light brighter than it all. Hallelujah. Lord, bless the offering. Use it for your kingdom's sake. Bless every gift and every giver. Let it come back to them, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. That they will find they have no lack as they advance the call and the election of God that he has in their life. And we'll give you all the praise in the powerful name of Jesus. And everybody in the house shouted, Amen.